Hey guys, Mars Engine here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today I'm going to do a team building guide for the LR Bojack EZA that is coming out on Global tomorrow. Uh, technically I guess it's tonight in certain places in the US. It's the morning for me in the UK. Uh, I will be live to stream the EZA. Uh, finally back from holiday so can finally live stream again. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some streams over the weekend, not just Dokkan but also Resident Evil 4 Remake. I had to wait until I got back from holiday to be able to play it because we literally went the day that it came out. So very much looking forward to that. But LR Bojack's EZA. I'm, I've been looking forward to this one. Should be interesting being able to test him out on Global where I actually have all the units to run around him to do some interesting showcases, take him into a bunch of different events. So it's a typical LR EZA, 10 stages. Uh, you get three stones per stage. There's a mission for beating stage 7, so basically you get 33 stones overall in total. And then just like any LR EZA, legendary power link being active is how you do the most damage to the boss. So the more LRs you have, the more damage you do, the quicker you will be able to get through, uh, tear through his health bars. And then like a normal EZA, the specific category is for the units that will actually be able to defend well against Bojack. So for Bojack is entrusted will. So what that means is any non-entrusted will units are going to take lots of damage, especially near to the end. Um, and any entrusted will units will obviously take a lot less. Any LRs are able to deal damage, so you can technically just go ham with all your physical LRs. You just have to remember that if they're not on entrusted will, they will take huge damage, uh, especially in the later stages. So bear that in mind. So entrusted will is a bit of a weird category. Uh, we have the AGL trunks as the lead. And then there's only a few LRs on the category, so I'm going to talk about some of the best ways to build a team and include as many of them as possible. So, as always with my team building guides, I'm going to go through my top picks and honourable mentions. Let me know down below if you think I missed out any units or I didn't talk enough about a certain unit that you think would be good. And we can continue the discussion down below in the comment section. If you find the guide helpful at all, do hit that like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new. So... Jumping straight in, we have Trunks. Uh, he has Entrusted Will or Android Slash Cell Saga as his leader skill. Obviously, he's the best pick if you just want to be able to include any of your Entrusted Will characters. This means you could technically just run this guy and then run all of your Entrusted Will LRs and then you know they're all going to fit under his leader skill, right? He's not the best unit for like an easy A, but as the leader there to provide the leader skill, um, you know, he's not a slot one unit, but you quite easily float him off. He gets his additional attacks, um, you know, he can still do reasonably well. He's just obviously not built for this kind of event, but because his leader skill is going to cover essentially any of the units that you might want to bring, then of course he is going to be a solid pick. Now, I do think a really good choice for a leader can be this guy as well, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, the Namek Goku, Legendary Existence or Super Saiyans. There are a lot of Super Saiyans characters on Entrusted Will. And then there's a couple on Legendary Existence as well. So you can quite easily make a team out of this guy. Obviously, it helps that he's an LR. So the more LRs, the better. Get Legendary Power active. If he's taking a hit in slot 1, he gets a guaranteed additional super. If he's in slot 2 or 3, you still have the chance to get an additional super. So this guy can do pretty well. Um, I would use him on the team even if he's not the lead. He can definitely put out a pretty significant amount of damage. Uh, next up we have the AGL LR Gohan. Obviously has his EZA now on Global. He leads Kamehameha or Super AGL. Uh, you can fit a lot of LRs onto this team as well that are on Entrusted Will. And then obviously you can fill out the rest with either Kamehameha units that are physical um, or any other Super AGL units that are Entrusted Will. This guy can obviously be very good for an EZA because starting out on full HP he's going to have Guard. Um, he can get his additionals, he can build up a little bit. You're not going to be able to transform in this event unless you bring an android on the team, which is kind of awkward because none of them are on Entrusted Will. So probably not the best idea to gimp the team by bringing an android that can get absolutely decimated just to try and get the transformation with Gohan. Although, of course, if you do, the turn you transform, you pick up a ton of orbs, you're probably just going to one-shot Bojack. So you know, maybe it'll work, I don't know, but I probably wouldn't advise it personally. Um, now, next up we have this guy. I think this is probably your best choice for a lead for this if you don't want to use AGL trunks, right? Because 
The leader skill for the STR Goku and Gohan is Super Saiyans or Goku Family. Uh, most of the units that we're going to talk about are either on Super Saiyan or Goku Family. There's a couple that aren't, but especially a lot of the LRs are on this leader skill. So these guys definitely can work very well. As a slot 2 or 3 unit, they obviously still perform pretty well. After Goku super attacks, he has that chance to dodge. You're never really going to see the transformation, or sorry, the exchange in an easy A. But Goku can still do pretty well, and he's providing that leader skill. And of course, units like the AGL LR Gohan that we've already talked about are on Android Sash Cell Saga, so they'll be getting the full 200% leader skill. So definitely worthwhile. I will probably use this guy as my lead and then just run Super Saiyan or Goku Family LRs that are in Entrusted Will as well. So this guy is my top pick for the lead for the team. Uh, next up we have the Namek Goku, the STR one. Obviously he has Super Saiyans as well, or Namek Saga. Uh, Super Saiyans, I don't think there's any Namek Saga in Trusted Will. Actually no, there's the LR... Um, I didn't bring up his page specifically, but there is the exchange uh, Vegeta. So if you are going to run Namek Goku, then obviously he actually does uh, fit under his leader skill. So that could be pretty good. Obviously he fits on some of the leader skills that we've talked about already. Pretty straightforward unit before he transforms, can do some decent damage, his defense is pretty decent. Um, and then if you do get to turn 3, which is fairly common for an easy A, right? Usually 3 or 4 turns when you get to the final phases. You can then obviously transform into the uh, Super Saiyan Goku, where you can have guard. Very solid stats, can do decent damage, like pretty good pick for the team. Um, and can fill in as a leader if needed. Then we have this guy. So this guy's probably my top pick for LRs for this event. If you can fit him under the leader skill, because of course he is physical, so he's on the category, he's got type advantage, he's actually, I mean, I guess he's a bit outdated now when we talk about the more difficult content, but for an easy A where he has type advantage and is in the right category, he will be very good, right? If you've got legendary power active, get that uh, 12, uh, 18 key super and he's going to be able to do a pretty significant amount of damage. Uh, so Bardock, definitely a top choice. Fits on the leader skills of a few of the units that we've talked about for the leads. So this guy definitely is a very solid pick. We'll be able to do a lot of damage once you have Legendary Power active with him. Next up we have Int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So because he starts as Super Saiyan 2, obviously you can use him at the same time as the AGL one. Because you can't use same name units in an easy A. Uh, he is also on Android Sash Cell Saga, so if you want to run that STR Goku and Gohan, he's getting the 200% leader skill from them. Um, his EZA was pretty underwhelming even on release, but in terms of for an Extreme Z battle event, which obviously isn't the hardest, he will still be very good. We'll be able to do a lot of damage, and obviously we want as many LRs as possible so we can get Legendary Power active. So this guy definitely can be very good. Uh, post Super Attack, especially if you've picked up um, a decent amount of orbs, you can do good damage, and he's got good defense as well. So next up we have some non-LR picks. We have the physical Gotenks. Uh, the only reason I picked this guy realistically is because he is physical. He is on the Super Saiyans category. So he's on a few of the units that we've talked about uh, leader skill already. Um, so he can be pretty useful. You can't seal in an easy A past the first couple of stages. Actually, in an LR one, can you seal at all? Yeah, you can seal in the first two stages and that's it, right? So not going to be uh, doing a lot of sealing, but... He's got good links, he fits on the teams, on the category, you know, he can be there as uh, a floater if necessary. At least he has type advantage where he'll be able to tank some hits. Not the best unit, obviously, but can still be pretty useful. This physical super trunks with his EZA is pretty decent as well. He starts off with his full stats, he just has attack and defense 200%. Does supreme damage, raises attack and defense for three turns, so if you get a couple of additionals, he can do some, you know, good damage while stacking up his defense a little bit. So just another solid unit. The Super Trunks and Super Vegetas count as being on the Super Saiyans category as well, um, and on Android Sash Cell Saga. So this is another unit that gets the full 200% leader skill if you are running STR Goku and Gohan. So he can definitely be a solid pick for a non-LR. Uh, then we have this Physical Ultimate Gohan, another unit that is on uh, Goku Family as well as Entrusted Will, so he's on uh, a few of the leader skills. Decent links like All in the Family for that extra bit of defense. He's on Kamehameha as well if you want to run the AGL Gohan. So this guy, another decent pick for type advantage. He does basically lose most of his defense if you're at 80% or, uh, sorry, 79% or less HP. 
which is a bit awkward, but he can still be a honourable mention, I think. Uh, then we have the STR Ultimate Gohard. Now, remember, you cannot use both of them, but the STR one probably is the better choice, right? Because he's giving all allies defense, and then entrusted will characters, which is who we want to bring, he's giving two key and 30% attack. He has the chance to guard, so he's actually a very good support unit for this team specifically because he is giving that category the extra attack. So he definitely can be very useful. Now he is STR, so type neutral. If his guard doesn't go off, he might take a fair bit of damage, but at least he's on the category, right? So his defense will still be pretty decent. He does greatly raise on super, so I would use him as a floating support unit for this team. Uh, then we have the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. I thought we'd throw this guy in there as an honourable mention. If you're somebody that did summon for heroes, um, he can be a pretty good defensive unit as long as his guard actually activates. And then, you know, he can do decently well in slot 1. He doesn't fit on pretty much any of the teams that we've mentioned unless you are straight up running a Entrusted Will team. Um, so if you are, you know, he can be a reasonable choice. And if you do want to do that, then of course there is the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as well. Doesn't, again, doesn't fit under really any of the other leader skills we've mentioned. Um, because he's not a Super Saiyan, he's not Goku Family, uh, he's not Namek Saga, he's not Legendary Existence. But if you're running the Entrusted Will lead, then obviously this guy can fit on there. He can link up decently well with Trunks because they share a couple of those Super Saiyan 3 links. And he has type advantage. So those are the top picks and honorable mentions. We did talk about this guy very briefly. Um, obviously, if you're running Namek Goku, you can run this guy. Or if you're running Trunks, um, AGO Trunks, obviously, right, for the leader skill. This guy can still be very, very solid. Um, the AGL Prime Battle Trunks can be a decent free-to-play option. He does have a different name, so he'll link up decently well with the AGL Trunks. I do always forget that Goten and Trunks do actually have their EZA, so they can be relatively decent as well. Um, the Tech uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan I wouldn't bring just because of type disadvantage. Physical Trunks, I guess we can't really forget about him, right? He's on Super Saiyans, he's on Android Slash Cell Saga, so he is on... Goku and Gohan's 200% leader skill. I probably should have brought him up as a more of a top pick, right? Because he's a type advantage LR, and he's on the 200% leader skill of one of the units that I think would be the best lead. I didn't bother to mention any tech units, although I guess technically tech ultimate Gohan, right, will still be good because of his guard. You can link him up with the STR one, and that rotation can be really good. Um, and then when it came to TURs, I didn't really pick out a lot other than the really decent ones. I mean, Super Strike Trunks is a decent free-to-play support unit. Piccolo, if you are running the Just Entrusted Will lead, has the Scouter ability, which can be pretty useful. Um, obviously, the free-to-play Bardock is on here if you don't have the LR and you are running like one of the Goku family leads. He could be pretty solid. So there's a few TURs on here that can be good, but because you want legendary power, you do want to focus on a leader that's going to let you run as many of these LRs as possible. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What is your team build going to look like? Like I said at the beginning, if there's any units you think I should have pointed out or any abilities they have that would make them super good that I didn't mention, let me know down below in the comment section. And yeah, like I say, let me know what your team is going to look like for the BoJack extreme z battle like i say i'll be live hopefully i'll see you guys there It'll be my first stream from coming back so very much looking forward to it finally gonna have the face cam back again so uh yeah i will see you guys at the stream and let me know what your team is gonna be so that is gonna be it for the video guys this has been the Masking again smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one